The Cape Colony was between 1652 and 1691 a commandment, and between 1691 and 1795 a governorate of the Dutch East India Company. The colony was founded by Jan van Riebeek as a resupply and layover port for vessels of the Dutch East India Company trading with Asia, much to the dismay of the rulers of the Dutch East India Company, who were primarily interested in making profit from the Asian trade. The colony rapidly expanded into a settler colony in the years after its founding, being the only permanent settlement of the Dutch East India Company not serving as a trading post. It proved an ideal retirement place for employees of the company. After several years of service in the company, employees could lease a piece of land in the colony as a Vryburga, on which they had to cultivate crops that they had to sell to the Dutch East India Company for a fixed price. As these farms were labor-intensive, Vryburgers imported slaves from Madagascar, Mozambique and Asia, which rapidly increased the number of inhabitants. After Louis XIV of France revoked the Edict of Nantes, which had protected the right of Huguenots in France to practice their religion without persecution from the state, the colony attracted many Huguenot settlers, who eventually mixed with the general Vryberger population. Due to the authoritarian rule of the company, telling farmers what to grow for what price, controlling immigration, and monopolizing trade, some farmers tried to escape the rule of the company by moving further inland. The company, in an effort to control these migrants, established a magistracy at Swellendam in 1745 and another at Graf Rionet in 1786, and declared the Gamptus River as the eastern frontier of the colony, only to see the Trebor across it soon afterwards. In order to avoid collision with the Bantu peoples advancing south and west from East Central Africa, the Dutch agreed in 1780 to make the Great Fish River the boundary of the colony. In 1795, the colony was occupied by the British after the Battle of Mu Eisenberg. Under the terms of the Peace of Amiens of 1802, the colony was returned to the Dutch on 1 March 1803. But as the Dutch East India Company had since been nationalized, the colony was ruled directly by the Batavian Republic. The return was not to last long, however, as the breaking out of the Napoleonic Wars invalidated the Peace of Amiens. In January 1806, the colony was occupied for a second time by the British after the Battle of Blaauwberg. This transfer was confirmed in the Anglo-Dutch Treaty of 1814. History Traders of the Dutch East India Company, under the command of Jan van Riebeek, were the first people to establish a European colony in South Africa. The Cape Settlement was built by them in 1652 as a resupply point and way station for Dutch East India Company vessels on their way back and forth between the Netherlands and Batavia in the Dutch East Indies. The support station gradually became a settler community, the forebears of the Afrikaners, a European ethnic group in South Africa. At the time of first European settlement in the Cape, the southwest of Africa was inhabited by Bushmen and Hottentots who were pastoral people with a population estimated between 13,000 and 15,000. Conflicts with the settlers and the effects of smallpox decimated their numbers in 1713 and 1755, until gradually the breakdown of their tribal society led them to work for the colonists, mostly as shepherds and herdsmen. The local Khoi Khoi had neither a strong political organization nor an economic base beyond their herds. They bartered livestock freely to Dutch ships. As company employees established farms to supply the Cape Station, they began to displace the Khoi Khoi. Conflicts led to the consolidation of European landholdings and a breakdown of Khoi Khoi society. Military success led to even greater Dutch East India Company control of the Khoi Khoi by the 1670s. The Khoi Khoi became the chief source of colonial wage labor. After the first settlers spread out around the company station, nomadic European livestock farmers, or trekboerin, moved more widely afield, leaving the richer, but limited, farming lands of the coast for the drier interior table land. 
There they contested still wider groups of Koi Koi cattle herders for the best grazing lands. By 1700, the traditional Koi Koi lifestyle of pastoralism had disappeared. The Cape society in this period was thus a diverse one. The emergence of Afrikaans, a new vernacular language of the colonials that is however intelligible with Dutch, shows that the Dutch East India Company immigrants themselves were also subject to acculturation processes. By the time of British rule after 1795, the socio-political foundations were firmly laid. The British conquest in 1795, France occupied the seven provinces of the Netherlands, the mother country of the Dutch East India Company. This prompted Great Britain to occupy the territory in 1795 as a way to better control the seas in order to stop any potential French attempt to get to India. The British sent a fleet of nine warships which anchored at Simon's Town and, following the defeat of the Dutch militia at the Battle of Mu Eisenberg, took control of the territory. The Dutch East India Company transferred its territories and claims to the Batavian Republic in 1798 and ceased to exist in 1799, improving relations between Britain and Napoleonic France and its vassal state the Batavian Republic led the British to hand the Cape Colony over to the Batavian Republic in 1803. In 1806, the Cape, now nominally controlled by the Batavian Republic, was occupied again by the British after their victory in the Battle of Blaauwberg. The temporary peace between Britain and Napoleonic France had crumbled into open hostilities, whilst Napoleon had been strengthening his influence on the Batavian Republic. The British, who set up a colony on 8 January 1806, hoped to keep Napoleon out of the Cape and to control the Far East trade routes. In 1814 the Dutch government formally ceded sovereignty over the Cape to the British under the terms of the Convention of London. Administrative Divisions The Dutch Cape Colony was divided into four districts, commanders and governors of the Cape Colony. The title of the founder of the Cape Colony, Jan van Riebeek, was installed as Commander of the Cape, a position he held from 1652 to 1662. During the tenure of Simon van der Stel, the colony was elevated to the rank of a governorate. Hence he was promoted to the position of Governor of the Cape. 